In my previous video, I put in the picture how to set basic integration that enables to see views and forms from Dynamic 365 in Teams directly. Link in description. It means that there is no need to switch from one application to another and it is the least benefit. In this video, you will learn about additional enhancements of Teams and Dynamic 365 integration. More specifically, I will observe the settings that allow display and user tasks from Dynamic 365 in Teams Planner and automated receipt of the post notifying that a new case for some contact has been created. Hello, my name is Eugen, I am Dynamic 365 specialist from Ukraine with 6 years of experience in foreign projects. Currently, many companies prefer Dynamic 365 for staff task management and Microsoft Teams as a communication hub. Let's proceed to find out how the integration of these two systems can positively affect business processes. Key point is to display user tasks from Dynamics in Teams Planner. First we need to do is to add Planner app to Teams channel. In our channel click plus button and search Planner application. Select it and specify tab name. Click Save. Now we have Planner as a tab in our Teams channel. To show tasks from Dynamics in Team Planner, we'll use Power Automate. Let's search an existing template for this purpose and open up Flow. Dynamics Activities to Planner Tasks. Select it and click Continue. Now we need to customize existing connectors and actions for our goal. Pay attention that you need to reset all fields in this flow with your organization's attributes, even if they are filled, otherwise flow could not run successfully. Select your organization name. Let's select tasks from the list as a primary entity. Then we need to get record and define item identifier as a task. In Get User Profile Connector, we just need to specify a valid Office 365 user, just put in our email there. Now for the Planner connectors, just specify all parameters as needed. Plan ID – select Task. Bucket ID – select To Do. Start Date – reset Start Date. Due date, reset due date. Assigned user IDs, set mail. The same for no assignment. Just leave assigned user IDs empty. When all done, let's save and test our flow. Click save. Then proceed with test button. Select I'll perform the trigger action. Click Save and Test. Navigate to Dynamics. Create a new task from there and navigate to run history of our flow. We see that flow runs successfully. Let's go to our Teams Planner and we will see that this task also appeared in Planner as required. Now let's just try another scenario and add some tasks directly from Teams, using our Dynamics Record tab. On Timeline click plus button and select Task. Specify all parameters as needed for your task and click Save. We have created a new task for this account and now we have to wait a little bit for the flow to proceed. 
Sometimes it takes a few minutes for the flow to apply. Let's navigate to the flow and check our run history. Now we see a new item there. Let's go back to the Teams Planner and see a new task here created automatically as well. Our next goal is to automatically create a post in our Teams channel when a new case is being created for some of our contacts. The same can be done for accounts. For example, we want to work with our contacts records directly from here and just when a new case was created for a particular contact, we want to see a post with some message about this new case and also see a name of the associated contact. To do this, we need to create a simple flow process in our Power Automate portal. Create new automated flow and select when a record is created trigger for that. Let's build our flow. First step is when our new case record created. We need to select cases entity from the list here. Then we add next step to get the contact details, meaning our related contact full name, get record. Just select contact as an entity here and we choose customer field as the item identifier to get the exact lookup record from our case. Now we need to make sure that this customer field is not empty. Adding a short condition step. In this condition we check our customer field from when record is created section using an extension here to make sure it is not null. And if the result of the condition is true, we add a post message step where we specify our team's team consulting. Channel sales team and write our custom message for the post in message field. In my message I want to see an announcement which also includes our case title and contact's full name. So I'm picking it up from a dynamic content. Now let's save and test our flow. Click Save. Click Test. Select I'll perform trigger action. Click Save and Test. Firstly, let's check by creating a new case directly from Teams, from our existing contact tab. Select Cases and click New Case. Specify all needed attributes for your case. As we can see, our flow runs successfully. If you go back to Teams now, we will see that automatic post is already created with the case title and contact name. Now let's have another example of how it works. Let's create another case for a different contact from our dynamic CRM hub. Just doing the same case creation process as we did in Teams tab. Save our new case and go back to our Teams channel. Sometimes it takes time for a flow to apply. And here we go. The new post appeared in Teams channel. Congrats! After all steps, you are well done. Now Teams Planner will help not to miss something. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching this video and take care.